Has the Muslim Brotherhood changed? Do they still believe in violence? Are they against democracy and liberalism? Do they despise every type of minority, whether religious or ethnic? Are they anti-Semitic? Do the Muslim Brotherhood promote a message of hate and terror? Here are the answers. The Muslim Brotherhood were able to cash in on two major political trends that have been happening in the West. First, the tolerant immigration policies applied by America, Canada, Australia, and Europe permitted them to immigrate in large numbers to foreign societies. Second, they abused the Palestinian question since it has become a major international issue with the United States, Russia, Europe, and the whole world trying to find a solution for it. The Muslim Brotherhood were offered many scholarships to study in academic and major fields not even available for the native populations of the countries that has just accepted them. They were able to get good jobs as the economics of Western democracies expanded during a period of technological and scientific progress. Here we can mention Huma Abdin, her father, good husband education in America, and then taught at universities in the Middle East and always propagated the Brotherhood Brotherhood's ideology. The Muslim Brotherhood sent a message to conservatives in America that they honor religious values and that they were against communism. They tried to join ranks with liberals, emphasizing that they care about the poor classes and that they seek economic and social justices. When they got the chance to be elected to Congress, AOC, Elhan Omar, and Rashida Talib, of known as the Squad, which is notorious for its anti-Semitism and its ridicule of the American armed forces. Yet, when the Muslim Brotherhoods captured power with the help of Hillary Clinton and with the support of the Obama administration, they never offered any alternatives as what the nature of the new regimes in the Arab countries would be, except their fascist political agenda and dangerous religious zeal. After the overthrow of Mohammed Morsi in Egypt, the Muslim Brothers hired the former American ambassador to Egypt, Ann Patterson, to be the president of one of their cover organizations known as the U.S. Qatar Business Council. Dangerously, many intelligence information revealed how Qatar had funded the research that defends the ideology of the Muslim Brothers in U.S. universities, such as Harvard University, Yale, and Cornell. Most importantly, they have expressed deep hate to the Jews in America and the West. They employed the race issue addressing many groups in the American society, especially blacks, deceiving them that the majority of them are poor because the Jews had become rich at their expense. In addition, according to Professor Marcos Zografos, the elimination and the destruction of Western civilization from within exemplifies the Muslim Brotherhood's gradualist approach, namely to establish itself by initially nonviolent means through organizations such as the Islamic Society of North America, the Muslim Students Association, and the Muslim Communities Association. The MSA currently has a partnership with National Students for Justice in Palestine and organizes events such as Israel Apartheid Week, an annual series of lectures and rallies made at delegitimizing Israel as an apartheid state. On the other hand, the Muslim Brotherhood projects themselves as defenders of the Palestinians. They use the mosques not to announce the tolerant call of Islam, but to denounce the Jews and to appeal to Muslims in America to be scornful of the Jews. They printed and circulated literature throughout the many Muslim communities across the United States that advocated the demise of the State of Israel. After September 11, the Muslim Brotherhood tried to convince the American government that they could help in the fight against terrorism. In truth, terrorists had always come from their members. The most feasible method is to scrutinize uh, their activities, especially the institutions that they have established under false headlines, like the Council of American Islamic Relations Care. It is the nation's largest Muslim civil rights and advocacy organization, as it advertises about itself, but it has defended terrorists and fused anti-Semitism. At the same time, Jewish and Arab organizations in USA must continue monitoring the Muslim Brotherhood schemes and must contact directly the large numbers of Muslims in the United States, reminding them that the Muslim Brothers hurt the image of Islam and don't help Muslims anyhow and anywhere.
Hey, Maria Malouf here. Please click to like and subscribe to Maria Malouf TV YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.